Scapular pull-ups. Please do not do these until first you have developed the tissue resilience and range of motion that you will gain from my passive hangs and active hangs. I've detailed a progression from not being able to hang at all and not being able to get your arm over your head to eventually being able to hang completely and retract uh, your and downwardly rotate your shoulder blades, which some of you are hearing me say that and you're thinking I'm contradicting myself because of videos I've made on shoulder impingement. If you don't have symptoms, this is not going to matter for your impingement. This is perfectly fine for a normal, healthy shoulder. It's just if you have sensitivity that you might uh, find this exercise difficult. If you've progressed through the passive hangs and the active hangs, you're ready for scapular pull-ups, okay? Don't force it, don't rush it, but if you're there, then let's roll. So we're doing um, the same thing that we do, the same progression that you got with the passive and active. You start with one arm, you do pull-ups. Here, pull-up. Here, scapular pull-up, okay? When I say scapular pull-up, I mean your arm stays, uh, your elbow stays completely straight. You're just pulling your shoulder blade from here into your back pocket. So it looks like that, pull and pull. Notice I'm using my legs to support most of my weight. So I'm really not weight hanging very much. I'm just getting used to the motion, okay? Then I can start to uh, get more straight underneath where I'm hanging. And I can do the same thing. I can kind of bend my knees, put a little slack here, and then pull back, okay? And pull back, and pull back, okay? Eventually you get to two arms, same thing, doing pull-ups like this. Your feet should be on the ground so that you're not using your full body weight. And then eventually you'll be able to lift your legs and do this with your full body weight hanging. Um, each step along the way, you can just break it up into I'd say about three sets of 10 uh, pull-ups. And once you can do that consistently at each phase along the way, then you can progress to the next phase, right? So starting here with like 25% body weight with one arm, do three sets of 10 for a couple weeks, okay? Then you get right under it, three sets of 10 for a couple weeks. By the way, if you didn't watch my videos on the passive and active hangs, you are externally rotating the arm, okay? Torquing it this way and palm faces up when you grab the bar, okay? So this is the position. I'm not grabbing with my hand facing forward, okay? This is going to reduce the space in my shoulder joint. This is going to increase the space in my shoulder joint, okay? Not that either is wrong or right, but for most people, I recommend starting with this position. Okay, if you're super advanced and you've been doing this for a long time, then you can do it with the hand facing forward. And that's, a, that's just another progression because you've already built the resiliency and range of motion required and you can advance, okay? Thank you.